So the blue uh, in the image, Charles Bell is asking in, about the Hubble image that blue is not some kind of atmosphere or water on the surface currently. No, we, we don't have the resolution to actually be able to see that. Now, that said, there was actually one detection of OH emission near the poles of Ceres. It's not been repeated. Uh, we haven't been able to repeat that detection, but that was made, um, that was made in, uh, I believe in the late 90s. Um, but but they, um, they basically think that there might be water evaporating from Ceres. And it wouldn't be very surprising, actually, um, if, we, if we went there and found it. So Ceres, what's kind of cool about it is that it's a perfect shape. It's perfectly oblate. And this is some of the work, actually, um, that Julie's done and that Julie and I have kind of worked on, um, is what, how, what can you tell about the inside of a planet based on its shape, based on its surface materials. And so one of the things that we've been able to do is to look at, you know, I just showed a spectrum of Ceres and Pallas. Well, then what, what happens when we, when we couple in their shapes um, as part of that? And that kind of gives us that history. So we can't see water ice directly. You know, the smallest thing we can see on, on Ceres right now is probably about 25 to 50 kilometers. So that's really, really huge. It'd have to be a giant chunk of ice. Um, what you're looking at in those images is the fact that, you know, Hubble has great resolution, but you're actually getting little pixel effects. That, that's why it kind of looks, you know, a little bit of gray and a little bit of blue, and, and that's actually pixel effects. But when we get to, um, you know, what, what we can see in those images is the fact that Ceres isn't all one color. There's actually bright spots and dark spots. And that's really exciting because in most asteroids, you don't really see that. It's one color pretty much everywhere. Uh, and that's important because it's another indication that maybe Ceres is doing something actively, turning over its ice shell or, or mixing materials on the surface, or that impact events are having a big effect on its surface composition and, and the surface of the asteroid. So it's very, um, it's very compelling in terms of what we might see when we actually get there.